Welcome back to Turtle Tina. We have been practicing loops to create different polygons and other repeated patterns. In this video, we learn how to write nested loops. Nested loops are used when we have a repeated set of commands that is repeated itself. In Tina, we can create beautiful mosaics with nested loops. We will start with our regular polygon loop. The polygon is created by drawing an edge or side, then turning an angle. This action is repeated until all the sides of the polygon are drawn. Here is our familiar square. Let's use the square to make a pattern. We are going to create a new loop around the existing loop. We start by inserting a new line with the index variable j. For j in range 4, Next, we insert a command that will repeat the square four times. Tina.left 90. Now let's go back and indent the original for loop to show that it belongs to the body of the new loop. Let's read what the program is doing. The range tells us that the body of the loop with index variable j will be repeated four times. The inner loop with index variable i We'll draw a square by drawing four lines, turning left 90 degrees each time. Then Tina will turn left 90 degrees before starting the next square. Let's run the program to see the results. We have created a pattern that looks like an old-fashioned window with four panes. Now it's time to play with the numbers. For now, let's work with angles that are related to the circle. So if we repeat the outer loop, say, five times, we will turn Tina 72 degrees, or 360 divided by 5. Try to guess what the pattern will look like before we run the program. Ready? Is this what you expected? You can still see the square and count the number of times it is repeated, but our mind enjoys looking at the pattern as a whole. Repeated pattern designs can be found in the art of many cultures. Let's try another one. Last time, we changed the way the square was rotated. This time, let's change both the inner loop, or the basic shape, and the outer loop, the way it is repeated. We will make a hexagon and repeat it six times. What do you see when you look at this mosaic? Maybe a rhombus that seems to be the basic unit of the pattern? Or perhaps a set of isometric cubes? And of course, we can see our hexagon repeated six times. Now let's use arcs instead of straight lines. Remember the arc command? It takes two arguments, one for the angle and one for the radius. We replace the go command with tina.arc120020 and change the color to pink, and run. Now we have a pattern that looks like a flower. Repeated patterns are common in the natural world. We see them in flowers, but they also appear in the way molecules link together, and much more. Let's review. A nested loop is a pattern within a pattern, the inner loop must be indented to show that it is within the body of the outer loop. Remember to check your code for syntax. Are the commands written correctly? Did you remember the colons? Do the indentations make sense for each loop? You can create some amazing patterns just by changing the values in the inner and outer loops. Try different numbers to see what patterns result from the simple program. If you create a pattern you like, remember to save it. You may want to print it as a pendant, window hanging, or other 3D object. Use your browser to find mosaic patterns. Maybe you can reproduce one of these with Tina. Enjoy your creations.